from Nairobi, Kenya. You're listening to the Kuza Podcast. Brought to you by Kuza.com. Kuza Podcast. Tunakuja kwa kwa straight from the heart of the big city, Nairobi. Na tuna appreciate sana. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. If you're not in Nairobi, you don't know where you are. No, joking, man. Uh, you're probably somewhere else that is not Nairobi, and that's a nice thing. And thank you so much that you're actually tuning in from there. And let us know where you're tuning in from uh, when you can. www.kuzaapp.com Iyo ita tuseidia kujua. Tunafikia nani huyu. And definitely let us know what you think about what we're sharing. And your story, today, nataka tuongeji your conversation ya manhood. Manhood, hakuna womanhood leo, ni manhood, biblical manhood versus what we call traditional manhood. Now in the African traditional community, there is a way that, you know, we probably uh, think about men and all those things. In fact, one of the stories that I have, I used to, um, when, I, when I was training some young guys in a discipleship center, there was this guy from Meru, man. He's, uh, I put him on a duty roster and this guy does not want to cook. And so, I mean, kwa shamba, kwa na lima, then all the students comes and like, ah, you know, mavo, Alois has refused to cook. Hata nimesema jine yake. Alois kama nanisikia baadhi mekuchomea. So, um, Alois, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Brother, mimi naenda kubonga na huu boy, natoka kwa shake, sayo ni meadi, ni meacha majembe, man. Nakuja ni mekula moto, na jindua, buda, ni nini ambu watu mekata kupika? Eh, hey, anambia, you know, in Meru, boys don't cook. Ah, <laughs> nili mshu, cheki, 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 where are we? Akanambia Gilgil, nikambia exactly. Huu kusi Meru, buda. <laughs> Yo, jiko nito ingia na upike. Boys do not go to the kitchen. Cook. Aish. You know, so anyway, I mean, and we have many other narratives about man who means you and you, Nigani, uh, be by the school, Groya Western. So, we need a born city up and I rob him time. My boy, to kill like you too. No, no, so, but there is something about what the Bible says and what people have taught in their hands that manhood is all about. And so, please indulge us in the next few minutes as we just try to uh, peel this thing and see uh, what is uh, what's the difference, uh, or where do, where, where do they merge, or what should we drop? And what should we pick? And for that day, I have gentlemen today here, uh, just as Mwenyewe, the man from Dandora. Na <laughs> Saddam. <laughs> oh, the man from... The man from Juj. Ni Juja. Judah, Judah. Sema Judah. What are you talking about? Uh, then, then the name of that place, Ni Judah. Uh, even yeah, if you type it on Google Map, you can go to Nairobi. Judah is going to be there. Of course, you can go to the man from Eldoret. Was a pioneer. Pioneer. Buda, kama unaishi Eldoret na ujui Saddam, where's your Eldoret? Mm. And what was the Eldoret? Manze ya. Mm. Eldoret is established Atani on the foundation of you. Uko nadi kifungu. Okay. <laughs> kama ile basi ushai panda kama ushai ingia LD, ujui ule mtu alifungu yu gate ni Saddam. Mm. Eh. Kama nkwa yangu. <laughs> Watajua <laughs> ujui. <laughs> manhood <laughs> people, manhood. Yone conversation yetu ya leo. One. So, nataka kutanzia bibi, bibi kwanza kabla tu ingie in many other conversation. Is there a difference between Biblical manhood and traditional manhood, or are you making a lot of noise here? Are we just being petty? Mm. Yeah. I think we are not being petty. <laughs> Prove. <laughs> there is a, <laughs> yeah, there is a difference. And I think the first difference, Kabisa, yeah. uh, these traditional men, um, of course, they are not based, their values or even their family mm. does not revolve around the biblical principles. Okay. Uh, so there is the culture and the tradition, mm -hmm. and then there is what the Bible um mm. defines and expects of a man okay uh, so and every culture has its own expression right uh, especially of men and what is expected uh so so mm. we can't say if we say traditionally and the bible is one and the same then we have so many cultures that have different expressions okay. of what a man is expected. All right. Like our Meru guy, you go to another community, it's not a big issue. Yeah. yeah. So so okay. there is a whole mm. world of difference. Saddam. Mm. Are we making are we making a necessary noise? Yama kuna, kuna, kuna difference. There is between mm. biblical and traditional. Yeah, significant. Uh, a significant what? Difference. difference. Okay. Yeah, All right. Significance uh -huh. different because uh -huh. um when you just we read from different scripts. Okay. We follow different gods, mm -hmm. quote unquote gods. Right. Um, we have different examples of who a man should be. A traditional man, they have the example. 
the Christian man has this. So there are a lot of difference. Mm. Um, even the way we speak is differently. The way we treat women is differently. Okay. Um, the way we do marriages is different. Mm-hmm. So Christians are, Christian men are really different from African traditional men. Mm. All right. Christian men are different from African traditional men. Mm-hmm. What about you? You are deep. You are deep. You are deep. You are deep. You are soft. You are soft. Tabi and you are not going to be soft. See outlook. Eh? See outlook. Yeah. All right. Sawa, sawa. Now, I don't know. Where are you? I'm going to tune in. What's the difference? You know, I mean, what's... Um, if you are a guy, especially, I, what, uh, what are the things that you've grown up uh, picking up as this is what a real man shit? All right. Um, is it in light with what God says? I mean, is it does it show it anywhere um, in scripture that that is actually what it's supposed to be? And, and, and I mean, it's, is it a must for us to just conclude that just because it is not in the Bible, that it is not right? No. No, 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 no. That's wrong. Mm-hmm. If it is not in the Bible, that doesn't mean it is wrong. Uh-huh. If it is inconsistent with the Bible, okay. it is wrong. Or if it is inconsistent with the Bible. Yeah, but for example, vehicles are not in the Bible. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing wrong about vehicles. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. So we use them. Mm-hmm. Engineering is not in the Bible. There's nothing yeah. wrong about engineering. Okay. So, yeah, if we just need to look at whatever it is. Right. And then measure it with the Bible. If mm-hmm. it is not against the principles in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Well, well and good. In a, in a, in a, in a mm-hmm. All right. Well, sawa, sawa. Um, now I want us to uh, roll out a few things. So let's, let's try. And you guys need to help us uh, to understand the difference. Because we're talking about biblical versus traditional. All right. So what are these things that make it different? What are some of those things that are critical for us to say, okay, so if you do, or if you express yourself in X, Y, Z manner, you are actually more expressing what the Bible calls you to vis-a-vis what tradition would call you to. So what are some of those details? Let me, let me start off with that, uh, Vic. Mm. What is a, to, to create easy, let, let's draw the divide and say, okay, heaving, 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 heaving. Mm. Yeah. Uh, for example, yeah. let me start the African traditional man mm-hmm. at a seek his examples to be his grandfather, his father, his uncles. Is that wrong? Uh, not necessarily, okay. but may, may, may be wrong. Okay. So it is not a permanent yes, it is right. Right. Yeah, but most of the time it leads to the wrong decision because you're putting your, 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 your example to be humans who are susceptible to fail. Mm-hmm. But the Christian man uh puts his his example basically is jesus mm-hmm. christ mm-hmm. so that is number one the the biggest difference the the best man the, the overall man ever lived on earth mm-hmm. is jesus christ okay um so he he exemplifies to us he's the epitome of manhood mm. and so a christian would look at jesus and would want to be like jesus Ephesians 5, in a even when you are a husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Mm-hmm. That's an example of manhood. Mm-hmm. Now notice, people will say, ah, Jesus, Jesus was God. No, 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 no. He took on flesh. He became man. He felt everything we felt. He grew. Um, Luke 2, 52. 27. Mm. Uh, he got tempted. He struggled through sin. He was angry at some point. He was wary. But he was... He controlled himself. He was tempted to the brim of breaking, but he was meek, knowing that he had all the power in the world. Mm. And so for him, he becomes now our main example. So different from the African tradition. So Christ never failed at all. All right. Mm-hmm. But we see the people who the African traditional men look up to, they, they fail. You show me a human being who has not failed. I will show you Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's that's the person who we look up to. You know that one, uh, and and probably is just off 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 the rack a bit. So what's <laughs> what's the whole halabalu of who's your role model? And we all point to men, just um, to know that Jesus is the model man. Apa. I think uh, maybe to to take it further yeah. uh, is to say that. Um, 
you, you know for the father the the the, the fathers that we have mm. of course you realize mti um, matunda yanguki mbali na mti you know a child will take that line especially for a boy child uh, and so i think the 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 blunder comes in where by like the fathers that the the people who father does our earthly father uh, they were not the model of Christ Jesus and therefore um the the people that you are emulating you know they have of course their influence is what traditionally has defined what a man to be uh, and those have become our influence like you realize the things you are talking of you know yeah. um, wanaume sio kuingia kwa kitchen asipike wanaume ni kukaa ngumu you know yeye yeah, ndio <laughs> alikuwa anashinda na karimoto akiingia kwa nyumba ni kutulia asikize mm-hmm. redio ni yake akae pale akisikiza redio uh, there is just this kind of a model that was presented to us mm-hmm. uh, and yet we see even Christ cooking for the disciples you know <laughs> yeah we see Christ after resurrection pika fish ah uh, yeah na pika fish kuna boyaji ajio na kuskeli kwa fish exactly kujeni break oi already ah so so to me i think the problem is uh, it's not bad of course to have uh, men because um Uh, we have somebody like Paul even asking Christians to to follow his example as he follows Christ okay. uh, so there is that aspect of us having men who honor God who right. fear God and right. we have them as our model mm. uh, because they expressed what Christ likeness means right. in the context of marriage in right. the context of family mm-hmm. but then when we have other attributes that are not in line with the scriptures and we have those people as our role model then we end Mashi. up having a man in the society ambaye ako kabisa ameuma nje in relation to being christ like okay. so right. we have no problem with that men being right. Role models, role models but are they first of all is their lives are they modeling christ exactly are they modeling christ that's what we're asking now uh, very fast you want to visit our website right now www.kuzaapp.com kuna vitu mob pale by the way zinaweza kusaidia ku grow in faith kuna devotions uh, kwa app ku download on your phone um kama unashindwa mambo za quiet time na nini cheki check out those things na zitakusaidia sana at least kwa chia direction na mwelekeo secondly you kwa website www.kuzaapp.com utapata vitu mob za kusoma kuna blogs kuna podcasts kuna videos zingine unaweza angalia na zitakusaidia sana in your relationship and then also click your share ama your follow button share na wase na yuko tutakuwa story power sawa now we are talking about manhood here and we are saying number one, Jesus Christ is the, the model man all right uh, and that's that's the stark difference between the traditional and the biblical one just so what else do we need to look at that will build a contrast um okay one of the other thing is to talk about holiness uh of course as per the expectation of the scripture mm. the bible expects men mm-hmm. to be holy all right um you know talking of uh, Timothy let every man lift up their holy hands you know uh in prayer of course to the lord talking of um god having set the standard in terms of holiness in one peter uh, that be holy as i am holy mm. uh, so there is that expectation of holiness of course in man and this we are talking about um uh, to be holy you know and righteous translating into a life of obedience to god mm. uh, the father as jesus was obedient again to to the father so that he never did anything you know that the father had not commanded him to do mm. uh, but what are we finding especially in our society today yesterday i was listening to a president akiongea na watu wa boda boda akiambia mm. kuhusu hii bima ya afya ambayo wametengenezewa and then he made a comment you know ibi myafia included kampango kakando uh yeah and so you see what our our society has defined a man to be man, that is so terrible um, man yes you know <laughs> of course i think I maybe he made really it on a light note uh but Jeez. the thing is that this is exactly what is there in the society no. be it on a light note it's really serious yeah, 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 uh sure. it's really serious because that's what is there in the society mm. and talking of again to- look at sexuality you know right. i was surprised that one time a preacher was preaching and tells us about his community where he came from that they never believed how a lady could be married while a virgin and uh, and if people in this community if a lady was married a virgin the husband could go and ask the young men you know what were you guys doing you know uh, in your time uh, and so looking at yes looking uh-huh. at the issue of and that is was an aspect of tradition 
Mm. Uh, that was an aspect of tradition. Right, right. Uh, so that traditionally this was not expected. So there is extramarital uh, sex, fornication, and all that. And today looking at this uh, issue, you know, kama mtu ajakuwa na lady ama talk of many other things that are defiling a man in our society. Uh, and what the Bible expects. So to me, there is the aspect of holiness mm -hmm. that a man today right. uh, should strive to be like our Lord Jesus Christ and mm -hmm. follow his ways. Right. And uh, and very key, of course, at this is talking about holiness. Right. Uh, yes, that can be displayed through this self-denial. There are many things that we can give ourselves into, but right. uh, doing all these things does not make you that real man, mm, okay. as the society defines a real man today. And so basically, I mean, when we are saying that a man should be holy, basically, we are also then uh, implying that uh, biblical manhood is also all about salvation, really, because mm. you you cannot be holy and unless you're born again, mm. you know, and that is something critical. Are you born again? I mean, if you're a gentleman and you're listening outside there, we are saying one, Jesus Christ is our model man. You know, we need to seek um, over and above what society does and brings to us. We need to look at Jesus Christ, interrogate his life, and find out who is he and how can you be like that. But also, we need to be holy. Saddam, mm. what else? What else builds a contrast between uh, the biblical understanding of manhood and the traditional? Uh, understand so the traditional African man will find pride in his possession. Pride in possession. Yeah, he will be so proud of the fact that he has many cows, he has many wives, mm -hmm. he has many children. Um, he has huge tracts of land. Okay. He seeds among the in the council of elders. Mm, Jodong. The village. Jodongo. Mm, Jodong. Yeah, you know, <laughs> those kind of uh, things. All right. Um, mm -hmm. But a Christian man, I keep follow the way Christ was. He realizes that he is supposed to be humble, humble all the time. Mm. Uh, Christ himself was humble. In fact, being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Mm. So one of the facts that Christian was so Christ was so humble was that he was God. But ah, let me humble myself by taking up the human nature. Mm. And then not just that, he even died. God died on the cross for men. So we see two things there that humility brings. One, always living for others. And number two, ready to die for others. Ephesians 5, to number uh, husband, love your wife like Christ loved the church that he even gave himself for the church. So a, a, a Christian one is one who is humble to the point that he is ready to die for his wife he's ready to die for his children he's living for others mm -hmm. wholeheartedly okay he so a book of humility in enormous sana because an african man and a christian man a christian african man mm. and a not christian african man mm. the struggle is humility mm. the, okay. dif the huge difference for me is usually that humility right well for for, for an african man to me grow uh, even nowadays the modern african man still we are we are struggling with humility in the sense that soma pate kazi unonwe gari kubwa shamba kubwa nyumba kubwa uishi mali uishi nairobi runda right so you find pride and comfort in that and in christianity we are told all that is vanished right Jitaisha, humility trust. humility hmm all right, men are to be humble. Now you're gonna, I, I, think, I think there's a lot more we can poke on that, but let's just continue to build up and get these character qualities that we are talking about here, biblical manhood, just to uh, drop in any other one if there's anything else we need to uh, add here. Something else to pick is about men being zealous for God. Mm. Um, I love, you know, the African man is really zealous to the African tradition, especially talking of the Kikuyu, you know, mm. kiyama, kiyama, where I come from. Right. Uh, very zealous to tradition mm. and um, and loyal and even looking at the way they are raising the boy child mm. in the same line. I can imagine if all this zeal is transferred and we become zealous for God and to ensure that generations and the young men are raised in the ways of God, mm. in the same way that we have uh, the African man or the traditional man has put a lot of effort mm -hmm. for their traditions. Mm -hmm. I can imagine if the similar commitment is made uh, 
we can really transform the community in a big way. And Christ that we have mentioned, of course, being our model, he was very zealous for the things of God. Okay. Uh, we see in John chapter two, you know, people selling, you know, in the house of God and money changers. Mm. Uh, of course, there is what was happening in this season right. that the house of God had completely been converted for other purposes. Mm -hmm. uh, and people were coming to worship. They were experiencing frustration uh, in the temple. You find the sick uh, and the women and the children. Mm. They were outside the temple and yet it was supposed to address all these needs. Right. Uh, we have people coming from far with their animals for worship. But when they get to the temple in Jerusalem, they are frustrated. Mm. Uh, because when I'm you, Nyama Metembe and Bali Sana, Akona Easy, whatever, Akona some issues, na either scratches something, and then they're like, these are not worthy for sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and the, the money they had to change to use the temple currency again at a very high rate uh, in terms of the exchange rate. And so there was mm -hmm. abuse, of course, uh, right. in the temple. Mm -hmm. And we see Christ with that zeal uh, for God's work and um, beating people, chasing them out of the temple mm. and restoring the temple for God, the, for the intention that God intended it for. Mm -hmm. And I believe that even for we, especially Christians, uh, the men who are, of course, who are allegiant to Christ mm -hmm. and we are loyal to him and we are obedient to him. I believe that for us, we can be able to have a similar zeal mm. to ensure that our people, even our children, generations are able to honor God. Um, of course, looking at what the traditional man has also done. I believe that there is that which is expected of the Christian men to be zealous for the things of God. And it should be translated even to generations. From your experience, and I don't know, I mean, and uh, just growing up, I mean, is it is it easier to pursue some of these things that we are being told outside here uh, by community and tradition? I mean, which one, which one, which one have you found for you as a guy that was easier to follow? Um, and, and how do you think we should take this conversation up with other younger guys? Uh, it is not easy to 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 follow um, African traditional practices as a man. It is not easy. Neither is it easy to follow um, Christian practices. It becomes only easy when you have the Holy Spirit in you, because He helps you to because it is God who works in you, both will and to do His good pleasure. Mm -hmm. Uh, Philippians 2. So the easiest bit of it is now that I'm a Christian, yeah. I know I have a helper. Okay. The other one I do not I did not have a helper. I had to strive with my own strength, my own ways to make myself be that kind of man they wanted me to be. But now I have a helper. All right. I am sure that I will work out these things with fear and trembling. For it is God who is working in me. Mm. And so this one I find easier, to be honest. And so that's why we need to really emphasize the gospel when you're talking to men. Okay. Uh, if, if, if you want to be a true man over and over and over and over again, mm. expose yourself to the gospel, even when you are a believer. Mm. Uh, if you're mentoring young men over and over again, teach them the gospel. Because in it, we have the power to do what God wants us to do. How is the mix affecting the body of Christ, especially as you're talking about mostly young people? How, I mean, how is just all, all this mix that I, I think I am I'm a traditional guy or these are things that I'm going to do vis-a-vis -vis what you're talking about, like the, this biblical man who now, okay, first of all, kuna mix, nakama kuna mix, in effect at church level. I think there is a, watch out me, there is a big challenge, Mavo. Mm -hmm. It's not as easy as you are saying. Right. Because uh, you realize that, um, uh, for this man to be mm. what is expected, mm. you know, it's not just a one way because I have seen, uh, in fact, recently I'm there in our church made a very interesting comment. He said that uh, if there is a man who is suffering, is a Christian man compared to that outside? And he explained it in the context of uh, the woman that the, the, this Christian woman on the other side uh, knowing what is expected of the Christian man, that the church has been used as a threat, 
he shared his example the way at some point the wife was like naenda kuambia pasi na wazee wa kanisa you know of what is going on and so so there is quite a challenge and a number of men even christian men mm. are reverting back to traditional mm. uh, so that wanataka kuweka their feet on the ground wanakuwa stingy na pesa yao na kila kitu and mm. also trying to confine the woman uh, so that she does not of course uh, realize the full potential mm. uh, so there is quite a big challenge because we are also as christians we are not coming from a vacuum no we are coming from a particular background mm, right. we were raised with these traditions mm-hmm. with these values mm-hmm. and, and so uh so this process of transformation mm. uh it's good to say that it's a journey mm. it's not a one time thing right uh and, and so that if we are able to fulfill our side as men uh whereby we choose to honor god we choose to be christ like and trusting that as we choose to honor christ even our partners will change in the process i think to me that is important but mm. it is not easy because no man is coming from a vacuum mm. we are all coming from a particular background even for us who grew up fatherless like for me i really struggled right i really struggled mm-hmm. mavo i really struggled mm-hmm. on a number of things having grown up uh, <laughs> my dad passing on when i was very young right i did not have that example i remember with one of our mzee mm-hmm. nitwa mzee george mm-hmm. we work with mm-hmm. and uh, we visit a certain place together and then he is like apana i to- i tell him wacha tununue shopping you know mm-hmm. twende na shopping ah, and then he, he tell me no apana wa mama ndio wanaendaka na shopping yeah, yeah, <laughs> sisi tunaenda na wallet oh, yeah. <laughs> sisi ni wallet so uh, so anyway i got to appreciate that there is still some good elements of our culture uh, that are not uh, violating god's word in any way uh, so, so i think being trans- transforming from the evil cultural practices and embracing god's ways it's a process and even for the ladies should know that it's a real process mm. uh, for the christian man outside there it's not something that will happen overnight or just because ni meokoka mm. kila kitu ita change tu mara moja right yeah interesting yes so now i think just so vijana ngile the ladies yeah <laughs> now that he is married yeah. <laughs> Chiki, enjoy to enjoy to situation yako sawa usi usianze usianze kufanya watu wakaini kama wafanya makosa <laughs> I think women can be very instrumental in raising men. Yeah, we see Timothy was raised by women and became a very good man. A instrumental in the sense that encouragement to live rightly with God, encouragement to walk with God, encouragement to be among men who are God glorifying men, who are seeking God, accountability structures and all that. The mix is there and we 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 try always to we we, we forget I've been to places as just as I've said wanaomba wanasema sasa tuache Kristo kwanza let's talk as african men is it to man man you know then church in the bible kwanza tuache twende nje tujuane vizuri right and and you 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 kind of see the sense there they miss them out. the moment you just say that statement it mm. destroys everything that god is working hard to make right. us to be and so we have to be very intentional to always rely on scripture mm. we have to very to be very intentional to always have accountability systems around us mm-hmm. have men who believe in jesus and who want you to be like jesus mm-hmm. not who want you to be like them because again right. pio story am a mentorship yeah, yeah, yeah. you have yeah, someone yeah. who is mentoring you and mm-hmm. he is mentoring you to be him mm-hmm. uh, when, when uh, adi, adi accent when i know some <laughs> pastors in this town who when Wanaunga. you listen to their followers speaking Wanaunga. you're like yeah. 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 Ni yeah. like that should that should worry you if you are if you are discipling or mentoring someone. That still sounds like more manipulation than it yes. is mentorship. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. mentor people to be more like Christ not like yourself. Mm-hmm. They it, it should even impress you when they love God more than you do. Right. Yeah. All right. Well. Wale watu ambao wamekuwa wakitusikiza. What? What is your take on these things? I mean, where 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 are you at in these matters? Uh, manhood especially manhood these are the traditional um fellas have told us and we are saying that not ev- everything that is off about traditions but when it goes against the heart the attitude the character the spirit of scripture then we must let go of it what are some things that you're holding on to as a guy that you know do not define you uh, from a biblical standpoint we are saying that in christ we have the strength to become a what kind of man he wants us to become and so 
And it all begins at salvation. Again, at least you have to say salvation. So if you're not born again and you're there as a guy, check it. Christianity is a story of our mother. Church is a story of our mother. At any story of Pana, you need Jesus Christ because you are in sin if you're not born again and you need him so then he can be able to transform you and make you what he needs you to be. Let's continue to just dig in about this conversation and let us know uh, on the comments right there what you think, uh, what some other questions are in regards to biblical manhood or traditional manhood. But we are saying Christ is our role model, man. We need to look to the one that has lived a perfect life as a man and then trust in him. So thanks so much, Sadam. Thanks so much, Justo. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, because the podcast to Memaliza for Leo. with blogs, videos, podcasts, and a mobile app. Make sure, to make, make, make sure to subscribe to get more content to help you grow spiritually.